Hey, this is Sa Nakvi with BehindTheGloves.com. I'm here with the one and only Lamont Peterson. Lamont, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it very much, man. Thank you for having me on. Of course, man. Hey, Lamont, uh, just tell me what you think. What, what's going on what, after that devastating loss? What's on your mind? What happened to you mentally? Uh, nothing. Yeah, it only makes me mentally strong. You know, anytime you take a loss or a loss like that, you know, if you're going to bounce back, you have to be mentally strong. So I'm just prepared mentally, uh, physically. Uh, no damage. Uh, you'll see January 25th that I'm saying the same on the line if not better. Okay. So not to go backwards, but uh, with the Matisse fight, does that haunt you? Do you feel like if you would have done something differently? It would have it's out of my mind. Uh, at the end of the day, every fight, no regrets. I train my hardest every time. I give it my all every fight. So what regrets do I have? It's boxing. Things like that happen uh, to the best. You know, you know the saying that boxing one punch change everything. So. At the end of the day, I just got to take that loss and move on. Uh, moving forward, uh, with uh, Mr. Gene over here, what's your outlook on him? Do you feel like uh, he's just like any other fight you fought before? Because I see, I, I noticed in YouTube videos that he's very uh, oncoming to you. He's always coming at you 100% all the time. He doesn't stop. He has all the energy in the world. What, what's your take on that? That's a fighter. Uh, no problem. I'm used to dealing with, I have to deal with pressure. Um, and also get you know, put pressure on people. So a lot of times when a pressure uh, a guy that a guy that fight, you know, a pressure fighter, when you back them up, they don't do too well. So you know, it's a different thing that I can do to to uh, get past this pressure. I'm not too much worried about it because uh, he do put pressure, but he's not a reckless, you know, pressure fighter. We don't worry about getting hit. His defense, uh, he's, uh, his defense is pretty good. He's responsible on defense. So, uh, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll bring pressure, but there won't be a pressure with, though I have to change it. Like that. And with the Chomp order of victory over Devin Alexander, I'm sure you saw or heard of it. Right. Uh, what's your take on that underdog, underdog coming from the top and just pulling the upset? Do you feel like this could, this could be something that you should be careful of with Gene? Uh, we got. I'm always treat everybody as if, as if they're the best fighter in the world. You know, I prepare, prepare, uh, prepare mentally and physically very hard for each fight. I act like everybody's the best fighter in the world. So if he wins, it's because he'll be the better man. It won't be the judge. Uh, Overlook them, and, you know. He never fought the big fight. Is that that that? You know, I'm gonna make sure I'm prepared. You know. Pretty much guaranteed victory. Okay, so with let's not look past the fight so much to say, but it's only uh, human to me to ask. But what do you think if you were to win this fight? Who are you looking out for? And I know you have your your company to look out for you, but who do you look for? Do you look for Danny Garcia? Who do you look for? Uh, of course, you know. At the end of the day, before I leave the weight class, um, I want to be sitting the best. Uh, Danny Garcia is sitting the best. I'm looking forward to kind of out there and right for yourself. So, um, fight with him, so I can move up to us. Awesome. Thank you for the time. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.